Tonight I'm giving a presentation called Porn Art and I'm going to talk about the goals of artists and the goals of pornographers and this area called Porn Art where their interests overlap and how pornographers are sometimes now using the strategies of art cinema to make something that doesn't just move the loins but moves the heart and mind as well. Yeah, we're going to start tonight with a clip from uh, Antonio de Silva, a Portuguese filmmaker called Gingers. And I'm talking about it in the context of documentary realism and what happens artistically when you bring documentary realism into pornography. Um, and it's a film that I love that's about the, uh, the feelings of being a gay or queer or bisexual man who's redheaded. Well, you see it like bullied a lot over in Maryland, back home in Cork. Ginger fucker or... Ginge. Ginger ball. Ginger biscuit. Ginger cunt. Ginger minga. My favourite film from cinema erotica, I think I would have to say Boogie Nights. And Boogie Nights is one of my favourite films of all time. And it is not just because I make porn and it's a like film about making porn, yeah. although that's great as well. But it's because Paul Thomas Anderson has so much sympathy for his characters. Um, and the sympathy and the empathy that he brings into the process is so touching it's sometimes even heartbreaking even though we're talking about porn and sympathy and empathy are something that I'm really interested in in my own filmmaking work so yeah I, I think he's brilliant and I could see it a million times more I think that you have the job but why don't I make sure of something This is a giant cock. So I'll be teaching a workshop on the last day of the festival, and it's called um, From Fantasy to Film, Design Your Own Erotic Pornographic Film. And the idea is that most people haven't sat down for a few hours just to think about what they care about sexually. What's the one most erotic desire that they have? So the idea is that even if you never make your own film, wouldn't it be great to have a storyboard of the one thing that's most important to, do, to you? So we're going to do psychological exercise and I'm going to show lots of clips just to open everyone's mind as to what is possible when you put um, sex and cinema together and see what people are interested in. It's always a lot of fun.